the recording. We now place ourselves in the loving presence of God. In the name of the Father, and the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Glory to you, O most holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, for the wonder of creation, for the gift of new life, for the lives of each one of us, as well as for our families. We lift up to you everything today as we thank you for keeping us safe for the night rest and for us in the Philippines for giving us the grace today to continue the mission and that we are about to close it. And for those in the United States as they are still starting the day, we ask you to bless them in abundance as well. Grant the desires of each one's heart as we pray not only for ourselves, but for our families, for the country, for the church, for all our leaders, for peace in the world. As we pray as well for those who are in need, for those who interest themselves our prayers. And as we pray for forgiveness of heart of each one of us, we thank you, Lord, for forgiving us by stretching your hands on the cross and shedding your blood for us, for bowing always to embrace us and to kiss us because you love us. We could not ask for something more, but to be pleasing in your sight all the days of our life. As we gather today, we pray for our loved ones who are not here with us, mm -hmm. other members of the Rogative Warrior, wherever they are. Sustain them in your grace, O Lord, as well as in your love. All this we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to, to you, you Lord. O Lord. Peter approached Jesus and asked him, Lord, if my brother sins against me, how often must I forgive him? As many as seven times, Jesus answered, I say to you, not seven times, but 77 times. That is why the kingdom of heaven may be likened to a king who decided to settle accounts with his servants. When he began the accounting, a debtor was brought before him who owed him a huge amount. Since he had no way of paying it back, his master ordered him to be sold, along with his wife, his children, and all his property in payment of the debt. At that, the servant fell down, did him homage, and said, be patient with me, and I will pay you back in full. Moved with good compassion, the master of that servant let him go and forgave him the loan. When that servant had left, he found one of his fellow servants who owed him a much smaller amount. He seized him and started to choke him, demanding, pay back what you owe. Falling to his knees, his fellow servant begged him, be patient with me and I will pay you back. But he refused instead he had him put in prison until he paid back the debt. Now when his fellow servants saw what had happened, they were deeply disturbed and went to their master and reported the whole affair. His master summoned him and said to him, you wicked servant, I forgave you your entire debt because you begged me to. Should you not have pity on your fellow servant as I had pity on you? Then in anger, his master handed him over to the torturers until he should pay back the whole debt. So will my heavenly father do to you unless each of you forgives his brother from his heart. When Jesus finished these words, he left Galilee and went to the district of Judea across the Jordan. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord, Jesus, Lord Jesus, Jesus, Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. Good morning and good evening. Happy Feast Day of St. Clair. Uh, forgiveness is the direct object of love for me. Because when you love, definitely you forgive. Jesus loves, he forgives. God is love. God is forgiveness. And if you can see the heart of Jesus, it's all about forgiveness. Even before he died on the cross, when he was nailed, the first words, Father, forgive them, for they did not know what they are doing. So much so that tonight, when 
Ma when Peter asked Jesus in the Gospel of St. Matthew, the language of forgiveness becomes the core of this gospel as, for, as many times it will be mentioned. How many times I will forgive unless you forgive, so on and so forth. You see, it becomes a prelude. This is chapter 18 towards the crucifixion and the suffering of Jesus or the Paschal mystery that would be happening soonest in the next chapters towards the Calvary. And so forgiveness, compassion, mercy, become the theme of the life of Jesus. And now he's teaching us how many times shall we forgive? It's not seven, but 70 times, seven times. It means ad infinitum. Today, the world will, will offer us a lot of possibilities. Buffet, bottoms up, unlimited, everything. But that's the same thing as well in the forgiveness of the Lord. Because even in our own personal experiences, we had been forgiven many times at our age now. How many times we went to confession and how many times we had been forgiven. How many times we have sinned. And if a righteous person sins seven, eight, seven times a day, how much more with us? Perhaps we are not righteous and we could have more than seven sins. But you see, the forgiveness of the Lord comes. The love of God comes. Jesus comes. Because he wanted us always to be reconciled to the Father through him. Forgive them. Forgive us as we forgive those who trespass against us. But you see, the language of forgiveness is the language of Jesus. And it should become our language as well. If the heart of Jesus is capable of forgiving God as he is, then he invites us to do the same. After all, when we forgive and when we are forgiven by the Lord, the only prerequisite as well is to forgive. Take the examples of the two stories here. The first one, he could not pay, but the master had erased all the debts. But when he came to his servant, that man, who had owed him a less amount, he could not even have a heart to forgive. The heart was hardened. Quite paradoxically, if Jesus is the forgiveness here, at the end, he was not able to forgive unless he paid back the whole as well. It's because when a man could not forgive, that forgiveness is not also given to him. Take note of the, of the paradox and the beautiful language of forgiveness that begets forgiveness. The prerequisite of the Lord in order for us to forgive, to be forgiven is as well to forgive, although we had been forgiven. Yes, we had been forgiven, but he asks us as well to forgive because when we do not forgive, we could, not be, we could be the same person in that second story. The language of forgiveness is at times hard. Chiara Lubick would also put it in the Gospel of St. Matthew. If you wish to offer something in the altar and you remember that somebody's against you and take note of the next phrase, even if it is not your fault, leave your gift at the altar, go back and reconcile to that person. And so you ask for forgiveness and definitely that forgiveness would be given. In the Mass, it's a story of forgiveness. Even just at the first part, we say, I confess to you, Almighty God, Lord, have mercy, Christ, have mercy. It's a forgiveness of God that we are experiencing. And venial sins are forgiven. Of course, our task is to confess much more the grave sins in order to be worthy to receive communion. Forgiveness is the language of love. Forgiveness is the direct object of love. Forgiveness is Jesus' language because the heart of Jesus could not but forgive. But he invites us as well to be merciful, to be forgiving to others. And that when we forgive, then our heart is liberated. After all, forgiveness leads us to a liberated heart or a heart that is free from any kinds of baggage, any kind of injury, any kind of wound because we know how to forgive and forget at the same time. And so forgetting is and forgiving is 
the moment of healing the person and the person is made whole by the love of God. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord, Thank you, Lord, Jesus. Lord Jesus. We cannot count how many times she has forgiven us. We cannot count how many times she has forgiven us. Because many times we have sinned against you. Because many times we have sinned against, 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 against you. But your heart is forgiveness. But your, but your heart, heart is forgiveness. 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 Your name is forgiveness. Your, your name, name is forgiveness. forgiveness. And your being divine is forgiveness. And your being divine is forgiveness. To each one of us, though unworthy as we are. Which no one of us is unworthy as we are. Lord, you call us to be your disciples. Lord, you call us to be your disciples. Inviting us to follow you and imitate you. Inviting us to follow you and bring you on. And so, Lord, bless our hearts. Lord, bless our hearts. To forgive. To forgive. To heal. To heal. And to become wounded healers to others. To become wounded healers to others. Even if they do not ask forgiveness. Even if they do not ask forgiveness. Liberate our hearts, O Lord. Liberate our hearts, O Lord. With every injury. With every and forgiveness and guilt. And, and forgiveness, forgiveness and guilt. And shower us with your peace. And shower, and us, shower us, us with your peace. peace. Amen. 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 Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, 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 Mother of God, God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of death. Amen. Amen. Saints Michael, Raphael, and Gabriel, pray, pray for us. us. Angel of God, my 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 God, St. Augustine, St. Anthony, and St. Hannibal. Pray, Pray for, for us. St. Clare. Pray, Pray for us. Send, O Lord. Your holy, holy apostles to your church. church. The Lord be with you. And with, and with your, your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless us and our families, the Father because and the Son the and the Holy, the holy spirit. spirit. Amen. 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 Good evening and good morning. Good evening, Father. Good morning. Father. Good morning. Thank you, Father. Good afternoon and good night. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Welcome. To you. Welcome. Thank you, Father, Welcome for the beautiful Thank prayer. Thank you, Father, for the Welcome prayer. For... Welcome. Thank you, Father. Oh, we're 12. Welcome. For... Yes. <laughs> 12 apostles. Judas <laughs> came. Judas. <laughs> He <laughs> forgave natin si Judas. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Because he completed as well the history of salvation. <laughs> Father, yeah. Father, yes. I'll Apa. ask you. Uh, Apa. Uh, paano yun if uh, ever I ask, uh, I had had um, misunderstanding uh, to somebody else very close to me. When I was asking for uh, telling her my apology, she never accepts. And that has been cause of, uh, say, this few nights, I couldn't sleep well. Up to this moment that I am asking God, I hope I would be forgiven because it's not my fault. It's technical trouble. It's not my purpose to smile um, when the burial is going on on that certain part and I asked uh, sorry that I didn't know all about that and there was no intention of doing it and in the family I was told you know my first critics is the family would say 
<laughs> you even smiled. Di siyempre isipin niya, natutuwa ka sa nangyari sa kanya. And that's not my purpose, Father. How, how is it? When I say my apology, that's, isn't it, it's already meant that I am asking for forgiveness? Or that is not enough that I should ask her again to forgive me in that statement. I should use the word, I'm sorry, please forgive me. I mean, it's too much, isn't it, Father? Then your apologies oh. could be more than enough already. Oh. So, you know, it forget. should be. Well, you don't, uh, important is from your heart, you have asked that one. So it's on the other side that, you know, they have to accept your apology. Since your apology is sincere, since it's not intentional, because you have a smiling face, Tita. So, you know, <laughs> yes. so, you so know, much, it, it should not be bothering so peace. much. Maybe yeah. at peace of yourself as well. I mean, important is, you know, you have asked for apology. In time, perhaps that would be given. They, she or they, they will accept it. Yes. And say that you know, just can just continue, yeah. And uh, and pray for that that uh, that that grace of forgiveness or acceptance on their part would be as well given back to you. But since you have done it already, I guess that's that's more than enough. Thank you, Father. I'm at peace now. I hope I will have a good sleep tonight. Thank you. Well, <laughs> Thank you, Tita you, you, uh -huh. you sleep, boy. You sleep. <laughs> Thank you so much. Welcome, Patita. The I think the most challenging uh, words of Jesus here is to forgive. To, yes. to forgive, which is so challenging, especially for those who have hurt your feelings, or not only feelings, mm -hmm. but because of those hurt and uh, what was done um, against you is uh, have changed the destiny of your life. So it's so challenging. Many of us maybe here have, have uh, experienced, um, you know, the, the challenges of forgiving. Yes. Um, especially I can, I, I can quote, no, um, Tita Flor is not here. How, um, how can, how can somebody forgive when, when, when uh, a loved one was killed, you know, something like that, or murdered. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Uh -huh. Yeah. And and how can you forgive somebody that you love so much in your life and then has deceived you or ha had deceived you? How can you forgive that? But because of um, the grace of God, um, it's so challenging, really. But we just forgive. Because we are forgiven, uh, we ourselves are forgiven many, many times. Uh, it's a big challenge, really. I mean, personally, it's a big challenge. Yes. Yeah, the, well, it, especially uh, especially when the hurt is so deep. Mm -hmm. Especially when the hurt is so deep. So, but it's doable. Yeah. Very, mm -hmm. very possible. Doable. So. Yeah, because you have to heal as well. Because when you do not forgive, there would be no healing as well for you. So important mm -hmm. is with you and your God, you had been the challenge of forgiveness you have given. Although it's too hard really, because it's the person that you love most. It's a person that uh, you, know, you have trusted most. <laughs> At the end, there was a the betrayal. Oh. But Jesus as well had forgiven even Judas, who betrayed him, people who nailed them. So our pains, our, our siguro, sufferings of betrayal did not lead us still to be crucified. But if you look at Jesus had been crucified, still saying forgiving, forgiving, Stephen who was stoned to death, but he still forgive. So I guess we, we can do the same. Yeah, it's true, Atita. It's doable. It's doable. Do That's why I was telling you before the example of our priest. No? I'm now two priests now at the death of their, of their brother who were killed. The first word that they have during the homily was the family decided to forgive the killer of our brother. It's a very, very touching statement, strong statement of forgiveness. Because when you are with the Lord, you forgive. But of course, you allow the legal system to work as well. 
So forgiveness is spiritual. There could be also the legal way. And then, you know, when you feel that, that the person in the legal perspective is also repentant, then like John Paul II, he visited uh -huh. even his assassin, his killer. So those are ways of forgiveness, truly hard humanly. But Paul would say, we live with faith and not by sight. We see in them as well the face of Jesus, who was, uh, who was, uh, was even a judge, a criminal, right? Mm. So no, uh, all of these are, are possibilities, really. Although, means, son, it's easier said than done. <laughs> Easier said than done. That's why it needs a spirituality of life, really. Yeah, I, I also wonder what at times people would say, but I understand. I cannot forgive. You know, means and these are just the, these are the emotions in their strongest moment and their peak when they could they would say, I could not forgive. But in time, you know, when you allow them to sink in, allow the word of God to be with them, then they realize that forgiveness becomes a language of heart. Amen. 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 <clears throat> Beautiful. Beautiful words. Yes, it of course. Um, Father, um, while granting that is really very challenging to forgive, especially if you are deeply wounded, uh, it really needs a lot of faith. It needs a lot of spiritual uh, uh, awakening maybe to see that in the final analysis I think forgiveness is the ultimate um, way of healing ourselves and it is the ultimate form of being kind to ourselves because without forgiveness we cannot sleep we, we cannot rest and we really cannot move on. I think, I think that's, the, that's the reason why we need the Holy Spirit in us so that we will discern this truth. It is really basic. We need forgiveness, not, not so in order to make the other, the other person feel good, but because we need it ourselves for healing and to be at peace in ourselves. I think that's um, yeah. oh. we need that forgiveness. That should be the first effect. Yeah, that should be the first effect to ourselves. Yes. Otherwise, I'm always in that when you do not forgive, you always carry big luggages, yes. big oh, yeah. blocks oh. of chairs at your back, wherever oh. you are. You carry all those things. Oh. Mm -hmm. it's true it and you not, know when you do not forgive and if the Lord gets you when said oh how come you did not forgive so I will not forgive you also right father so yun ang mga one of the one of the most difficult uh, Christian values forgiveness yes yeah. Mm -hmm. One of the most challenging, and and, but that's and the first exactly. example of Jesus. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So, so whenever your heart is full of love, there is always forgiveness. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Amen. Yes. Uh, Amen. Uh, uh, <laughs> Amen. Amen. Always. And to that, we must add humility. Yes. Yep. It takes a humble mm -hmm. person. To forgive yes. others, and it takes so much more humility for people to forgive themselves, because in yeah. order for us, in order for us to forgive ourselves first, we have to accept that we ourselves made a mistake, and if yeah. we are not humble, we are not willing to recognize that. So then we cannot forgive ourselves. Exactly. So yes. um, forgiveness and humility, I think, they go hand in hand. They, uh, they go, they hand, go in hand, hand in hand. Yeah, because, right. because if we don't want to, because sometimes we don't want to forgive because we felt as if our very person was was violated. Simply lang siya, sino ba ako? Bakit ba niya ako ginan nito? 
so we pay, play so much um, value right. to ourselves that uh, we cannot forgive somebody. Right, really. Works. Yeah, so we need, we need meekness and humility yes. to be able to forgive. Exactly. Thank you, Tita Kors. Thank you. Thank you. You know, you pride the is the number one vice, the right? seven number capital one sins. capitals. Mm -hmm. So humility is the number one virtue. capital virtue. So capital you need virtue. first humility in order to forgive or to ask yes. for forgiveness. That's why I like, I always share this one. I like the first time I was in the bow when they, they said in the mass, I confess to you, my brothers and my sisters, and sisters. they look at each other, they look at each other. You know, it's a very oh, touching thing good. to you, my brother yes. and my sister. Yes. They look at that sisters. left and the right, left. And so and recognizing right. that, you know, I have seen, you forgive me. That we are family, yeah. let's build up our family. There is God in our midst, so let's forgive each yeah. other. And then, then I, I, I am touched with that uh, experience. First time I had the mass in the pao. Kasi wala naman si Luilo yan. Even in Manila. Wala. Nakatinte sa bubong. To forget the president. O ang, ang isip is nagalagaw kung saan-saan. Nagalagaw. Yes. <laughs> Walang focus. But um, really. Uh, so, so tonight, true. set your hearts for forgiveness. And we greet it, uh, Mary June for the birthday of her son, Jeremy. 25 years. Oh, Happy year. birthday. My, my youngest. Uh, Thank you oh, very my much. Thank you. My youngest. <laughs> the youngest. Ayaw ko pang bigyan ng apo. Okay. 25 pa lang daikor. No. No doubt. Sa mga older ones. <laughs> uh, see you. God bless. Thank you very much, Thank Father. Nice. Thank, Thank you for the prayers. Love you. Bye. Love you, Father. Thank you. Thank you, Father. So, okay. Um, any? Uh, please go ahead, Tita Pin. Oh no, I'm just going to buy to you, Tita MJ. Oh. <laughs> because you said you're leaving. <laughs> We thought you have something to share. <laughs> you have something to say. <laughs> By saying, uh, I love you all. <laughs> I mean, that's, ako na lang, that, ako that's na lang. more than enough. Huh. Ako na ang magbasa. Ay, okay. Ako na ang magbasa. Yeah, yeah. Ha, from, uh, I don't want to miss this, no? Yung Haro Cathedral, yeah. no? From, mm. from Haro Cathedral, conquer your ill feelings with remorse. It's your emotion that makes you weak and not your actions. Emotion. Rare are the persons who can acknowledge their mistakes. The difficulty to forgive sometimes rises up from your being self-righteous. Very true. When someone falls from what is within your standard, give your shoulder a tap from being spared of such fate. You may tend to become blind of your own inadequacy, but you open wide your eyes towards the other's deficiency. You very ano, self righteous, self righteous ka. I am good. He's bad. Makes forgiveness become a scarcity, and to being sorry is just so difficult to say. In your obstinacy to understand. You allow anger and even hatred to occupy the softness of your heart that could have had understood and be compassionate. Know that you can only forgive if someone had done wrong against you. By your love, you would never afford a someone to remain in the pains of what he had done. Be glad that one's conversion comes through you as the ones had yours when you asked God to forgive you too. Forgive others, not because they deserve it, but because you deserve peace. Amen. Amen. Thank you very Amen. much, Tita Kors. Yun ang na, context na ano mo. Ng, 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 no, uh, it's, it's a life. I mean, yeah. I learned that from life. Uh -oh. mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Oh. Um, if you don't forgive, no, you are self-righteous. Yun. How can you how how can you forgive somebody if you are self-righteous na na naga na, judgmental ka sa iba? Right. Oh, oh. right. Oh, judgmental right. ka sa iba. Oh. Self-righteous yeah. ka. If you are self-righteous, ako lang, ako lang magaling. I am good. I am better than you. You are bad. Maganyan ba? Oh, yeah. oh. Self-righteous ka. How can you forgive? Oh. And then also on the other hand, Accept, accept the apology of those who have hurt you. Just like the case of your friend, uh, Tita Remy. Accept the apology. Come on, sino ka nga ba na hindi maka-accept? Nag-build, nag-rebuild na nga ng bridges eh, sa, sa relationship yeah. ninyo. Wa, hindi mo pa ma-accept ang apology. So, That's right. So, so ang, ang ano dito is, teach me to forgive, O Lord. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So, amen. Uh, so not, now Ay, let's uh, proceed to the three three pointers. Marami ng ano si Father Danny. Marami na siyang insight na very very nice. Beautiful, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so well reflection. Italian pointers for today's gospel. Number one in today's gospel. Jesus asserts that we must forgive in order to be forgiven. If we do not forgive our neighbors when God forgives us constantly and unconditionally, we are making a mockery of God's mercy and forgiveness. Number two, Jesus' parable in today's gospel highlights this clearly. Mercy and justice go together. Ask Jesus to give us all the graces we need to be more forgiving and merciful like him when we are challenged to live out such virtues. Number three, ask Jesus to give us all the graces we need to be more forgiving and merciful like him when we are challenged to live out such virtues. Amen. 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 Beautiful. So let's tell ourselves, Lord, I forgive. Lord, so, I forgive. Lord, I forgive. I forgive. So for the closing prayer, uh, for the closing prayer, let us all pray the Lord's prayer, the most beautiful prayer. Yes. Yeah. All together, please. Our Father, our Father, who art in heaven, 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 hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. In heaven. Give us this give day us our daily bread, 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 and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us, and, us. and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Amen. And glory be to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit. To the Holy Spirit. As it was, as it was in the beginning, is now, now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Very, very nice. God bless us all. God bless us all. Bye-bye. Thank you.